What in Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And this is the Soccer Kitty Zenawasagiri. And today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Blue Lock Chapter 239. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, let us just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me... The adorable soccer kitty. Look at that soccer kitty. He's so cute. Look at that face. And this operation alive and kicking. So we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, hopefully this isn't one of my last uh, Blue Lock live reactions, because it's not looking good for me and the key. No. No, it's not key. You might be able to play your way out of this, though. Oh, you and your fucking eye bogeys, Kat, I swear. Anyways. Oh my god, Kat, why do you have to be so cute? Uh, last chapter of Blue Lock, we saw um, the winning goal happen. I'm still not happy about it, but it is what it is. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Okay. And chapter 239 is titled Creation. Go! The game is, uh, the game's hero is Asagi. Damn it, why, why aren't you giving credit to, to Hiyori? Oh, yeah. Forgot. It's the same shit we saw in U20, that's why. Um, as Asagi's uh, shot smashes into the back of the net, the world erupts as they witness the hero who conquered the chaos and established himself as the game's king. <laughs> I can't! I just can't take this seriously. What a magnificent strike. The hero of this match is a soggy yoink. God damn it. I just can't with this, man. Obviously, the game's over three to two. Amazing. What's with those two? They're twisted. I can't believe it. No, it's theoretically possible, but can't believe it for this work uh, for this to work those two at that moment those two those two synced up without even making eye contact it's impossible unless those two synced up perfectly their thought process um unless those two oh my god it's impossible unless those two synced up perfectly their thought process the things they saw in the field everything needed to be in sync so here's the thing that i was saying here if they were not in sync we're not talking, um, they ain't Backstreet Boys either, but, or O-Town. God damn it, I feel old. <laughs> but if they weren't in sync, then this wouldn't have worked. But Jesus Christ, Hiori needs more, more love here. He does, but I'm still sticking by my guns and saying this is very, very much Captain Tsubasa, um, Golden Combi with uh, um, Tsubasa and... Um, and, uh, um, Masaki, there we go. Took me, Masaki Taro, took me a second. I cover so many series that my memory is just all fucked up. But, yeah, that's what it's, that's what it's giving me. Again, it frustrates me because I know I keep repeating myself and I get shit for it every week. But this manga is supposed to be the antithesis of it, of, um, a, a traditional um, sports shonen series. But what we've been seeing recently up in this manga is very, very Captain Tsubasa. And I love Captain Tsubasa, don't get me wrong, but this is not what Blue Lock is supposed to be. God damn it. I... Duh, we, destroy we got destroyed by those two. An attack that uh, surpassed any perfect design we could have created. That's bullshit! You could have created a better design! Stop! Sharing a winning um, vision that surpasses logic and theory. It's a risky gamble, but for them to pull it off in this do-or-die situation. You gotta tip your cap off to those crazies. They were the heroes of this match. Yeah, that goal just now was worth 100 million. Um, 100 million, okay? Oh, Baro's pissed. But dude, let me know what you guys think. Because I'm just, this thought, I just have this thought here. Do you guys think this is foreshadowing of what we're going to be um, seeing with Shidao and, um, and Rin? 
I just have this feeling that's going to be the case because now that I think about it, we kind of had that. Uh, I feel like we kind of had something similar to this with uh, with Say and Shidao. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm talking about during the U20, obviously. So I feel like this is foreshadowing of um, of Rin and Shidao, what we're going to get with them. And they're going to, oh, God, if they do not destroy them, I'm going to be pissed. I'm already pissed about Baro not getting um, not getting the win. What was that just now? They didn't even make eye contact? Huh? There's no way they could sync up like that. Go! Tsubasa so and Misaki have done this, like, a shit ton of times. <laughs> They've done this so, so many times. I just... Do you know how these mofos read or watch Captain Tsubasa? They didn't even make eye contact, huh? There's no way they could stick up like that. Disgusting, disgusting. That kind of chemical reaction is fucking disgusting. Um... But is that essence... The magic of Yoichi's football? Ooh, Kaiser is furious. He's going Super Saiyan. He is furious, and I do not blame him. This is the same shit that we, uh, um... Well, this is similar to what we saw with Rin after U20. Kaiser. <sighs> there we go. Let's get to the, um, Asagi and Hiori here. You're amazing, Hiori, as expected of Mike, but he's your buddy! Uh, I don't know. Your shot gave me the inspiration. If we used you, uh, your shot as a decoy, we could create a split second opening. If we had complete trust in each other, I thought we would see the same winning vision. Thanks for tagging along with my selfish demands, Hiori. Dude, he is not your friend, not your buddy, not your guy. Nah. Expectations. I never thought you could use expectations like this. Huh? It won't work even if both parties understand and play off each other. And it's not about one person wholeheartedly supporting the other's demands either. This partnership can only work if both parties believe the other sees the same winning vision. Again, this is like, I... I, I gotta keep stressing this. This is so much like Tsubasa and Masaki Taro. It is. It is like them. That Because they are the golden combi. They are. This is what this is trying to be as a golden combi. But Tsubasa, here's the thing, though, with Tsubasa Masagi, they were doing that shit like in elementary school. And middle school. And that's why they went pro. Both. Tsubasa went pro, like, what, after middle school? Or no? I think he went pro, yeah, it was after, um... After middle school, he didn't go to high school. He went to middle school, and then, um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, because I think he, he, um, finished, uh, at, um, yeah, he did elementary middle school, and then he, um, went pro. But yeah, oh, God, this is just making me think of Bongo, too. <laughs> but anyways, um, now I'm going on a tangent. But I can't help it. This is just what it's making me think of. And that's why I do live reactions, because I give you my thoughts, like, as we go. A whole new world opened before me, so thanks, Asaki kun Yeah, let's do this until we become the best players in the world. Nah, I won't play this kind of tag team football with you anymore. From now on, eh, I'm going to play a brand of football that will produce the best striker in the world. Yori. To be quite honest, I was planning on quitting after this match, but after being a part of that goal, after experiencing that thrill, that ego, there's no way in hell I can quit, idiot. If strikers can't understand and keep up with my passes, I'll discard them without a second thought. That goes for you too, Asaki Kun. Okay, this is, um, oh my god. Who was it? Um, this is, give, this is like a combination of the Golden Combi at meets, um, uh, Hyoga and, um, oh my god, what's his name? Oh god, it's gonna kill me. Hold on a sec. Yeah, Wakashimizu. I knew it was Wakashimizu. But yeah, it's, um, that's what it's giving. It's giving very much, like, a mixture of Hyoga and, um, and, uh, Wakashimizu. And this is obviously, uh, before Wakashimizu had to, you know, replace Wakabayashi for a bit, because, you know, Wakabayashi, whether he, he was injured or, um, or Wakabayashi, the, you know, after Wakabayashi went to uh, um, Germany, um, Wakashi, uh, 
Shimazu took over. But yeah, that's what this is definitely giving me. It's giving me a combination of that. So, hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm very curious what you guys think, Captain Tsubasa readers, especially if you're getting that like mixture of, um, of Tsubasa, Misaki, um, their golden combi, and Hyoga, I um, mean, Hyoga and Wakashimizu. That's what it's giving. But let me know in the comments. If strike, um, strikers can't understand and keep up with my passes, I'll discard them without a second thought. That goes for you too, Asaki-kun. Why, you... Contrary to your calm demeanor, you're quite a sadist, aren't you? Huh? What you talking about? <laughs> I'm not a sadist! Okay! <laughs> From now on, my life will revolve around me. Nice to meet ya. Thank you! At least Yori is going to, like, go by his ego now, and if, um, he will only pass to Asagi if he, if he wants to. Well, if, it, if he feels like it's, like, uh, um, uh, the best part if, you know, he could get his passes. But goddamn, that, dude, that ultra shit. God, I can't, I know it's bad that I'm thinking of yoga, but when you say, those of you that know, you know how much of a sadist uh, yoga was. Well, he totally was. Let's be real. You know, Egoist League, game five. Um, you know, there's the score, three to two. Next, game six. PXG versus um, uh, Manshine, uh, Manshine City. Let's go. Ooh, huh? He trapped that. Stop him. No, uh, stop him, Nagi. Damn it, this guy's a fucking monster. Core strength, body bounce, uh, trapping, dribbling. This bastard, all his fucking specs have evolved beyond co uh, comprehension. Yeah! It's a run! I don't even like Red, but dude. I think my point is being proven, not, uh, what I thought it was going to be. But yeah, dude, Manshine got destroyed. Prepare yourself, Asagi. I'm gonna fucking destroy you, dude. I'm so hyped for this match. Um, as the world erupts at Asagi's game-winning goal, around the same time in another part of Blue Lock, a familiar striker quietly bags a hat trick in a three-one victory over Manchine City. Um, as an evolved uh, Ren single-handedly destroys Manchine City, his next target is Asagi. Coming soon, the fateful showdown between um, these two rivals, dude. I want to know what's going on with this dynamic between Rin and Shidao. I want to know. Because I really want to have, I want to have what was said earlier by Lorenzo about having them have to have like a single thought or be like on the, oh, I'm wearing shit, be on the same wavelength for it to work. I want to see if that's going down with Rin and Shidao. And I understand if Ren just fucked, uh, destroyed Manshine because, yeah, um, because he can. He didn't need Sheet out for it. That's what it could be. But I feel like this will be somewhat similar to the U20 match with uh, Ren and um, and Sheet out. In this case, when. U20, it was saying Shidao. Here, it's Rin and Shidao um, versus uh, Asagi and now um, Hiori and Kaiser to boot. Ooh. Kaiser is giving Rin right now. Let's be real. Kaiser would totally be the Rin in this situation. Oh, my God. It, he will be. Dude, I, but as I said, I swear to God, I need the Shidao Rin team up, especially if, as I said, as I was just saying, that Rin is kind of going to be like the say of this next match. Oh, oh, you know there's going to be some good shit up in there. Shidao's cells are going to explode. Oh my God, I love Shidao so much. We're going to have, dude, I think about it. Like, Shidao's like. He's somewhat of a masochist. I think he's like a mixture of masochist and sadist, depending. Yes. I think he's more, I think he's more of a masochist. Let me know what you guys think in regards to that. But yeah, she does like a combination of the two, at least for me. Uh, but anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And with this dynamic that we're getting here, is it, 
are you guys getting the same kind of feeling that I am with uh, um, Hiyori and Isagi kind of being like a mixture of uh, uh, Subasa and Misaki's teamwork meets uh, Hyoga and Wakashimizu's teamwork? It's like a combination of that. Is it a good combination? Yeah, it, it is a good, well, considering they're in the freaking Olympics and kicking ass, yeah, it is. Are they gonna pull shit off like, um, uh, um, this, uh, oh my god, what is it called? The Sky Hurricane? Are, do you, are they gonna pull off, like, intention, like, that? no. No, if they do, I'm gonna call bullshit. But anyways, I'm very curious what you guys think about this chapter. I'm so excited. I just need that shit so bad. Rin, I need Rin and Shido to go the fuck in and um and wake them up. Also, there's the other question part of this. The other part of the of this whole equation is where does Noah come in? Because it feels like to me that um that even though uh he already didn't get the goal per se. He does. He's got to recognize that, um, especially based on what happened before uh, he already went in. He's got to recognize that he already does have like a similar technical mindset uh, that he does. And especially after Isagi's emotional outburst, there's going to be something going down there. At least I hope so. I, I hope, what I hope from, um, that we get from this is that in terms of uh, Noah and um, Hiyori, I really want Noah to like take Hiyori under his wing. I do. Would he take Asagi? Uh, Asagi needs to have, he needs to grow. He does. That's why I'm kind of, again, this is why, I know I get shit for this, but it's real, it's, um, it's why I wanted Isagi to have that fall. I wanted him to have that failure sooner. And if we see, actually, if we see Noah give that shit to him and let Isagi fail and have him go into despair because of his emotion, you know, his temper tantrum and that he needs to, like, train and grow from it. <sighs> I think that could work, but if it's not going to work, then it's going to have to be against Shidao and Rin. Shidao and Rin will have to do it. But I really, I would love it if Noah was the one that got, uh, have, uh, made this happen. I would really be appreciative of that because it would make up for Noah calling him um, in the man, what was it? Well, somewhat earlier in this game, but it was definitely in the Manshine game for sure. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys thought about this game, what you guys think about this chapter. Um, and, uh, uh, and I'm just looking at the comments because I'm just curious. Someone said, Shido, you got to relax. Save it for the match. <laughs> Shido! Um, hmm. Hmm. The other thing I want to know, though, is do you guys think, um, in this case, would he, do you guys think Hiori would be, I think he, I really still am sticking with my guns about Asagi being a midfielder. I feel like both him and Hiori would be good midfielders. I do. Yeah, I do. In their own right, I do believe it. That's why I'm like, hmm. You, but based on what we saw with Kaiser here, though, I think he's going to have an awakening similar to what we saw with uh, um, with Rin. Yeah. As a, yeah, that makes sense. Based on this, I feel like Kaiser's going to have a similar awakening that Rin did. He's just going to go wild. Ooh, if France don't win and um, Kaiser gets his redemption, oh, I, I will be okay. I can't believe I'm saying I'll be okay with that. God, that's the fourth Reich right there. <laughs> um, but what do you guys think of this chapter? What do you guys think of what we're going to be getting going forward? Um, I feel like, 
Especially because I, I had to look at the comments to see it. And based on what they were saying about the author's message, like the first thing I thought of is this is like Captain Tabasa. Because Tabasa does the same thing. God damn it. <laughs> I love it. Like, seriously. It all comes back to Captain Tsubasa, I swear. But... Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys think that this game is going to have a soggy, um, earn more money, like, go, especially after Doggy Gang is ass whooped? Um, I think the, the one player, again, with Rin, I could see Rin, like, surpassing, um, Asagi in terms of money, considering what he just did, uh, if they said that, he, um, that Rin was the one who basically just destroyed Manchheim by himself, yeah, I think Rin's gonna outrank, uh, um, Asagi, especially since, you know, Nagi lost. By that logic, would that mean that Baro would be dethroned? If Baro was dethroned by Rin, I would not, I, I, I can understand that. I can, but if he, he, if Asagi takes him down, especially after what happened during the match, um, where he, like, took control of the entire team. And that's what Asagi didn't do. He didn't take control of the entire team. He was just working with Hiyori. But I feel like with Baro, because of his leadership, I feel like his value would go up more. Right? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys, How do you guys think the rankings are going to change? I think if Nagi goes down in value because of Rin, fine. I feel like the the one that could probably dethrone him as of right now, uh, Baro as of right now, is Rin. But I feel like I, uh, it's just that fucking leadership thing that Baro did in um, in this game that just has me thinking, yeah, I feel like Rin will dethrone. If, if they see Rin dethrone uh, Baro, that's going to fire up Asagi's ass too. So, yeah, I feel like it's going to go in that. I, I feel like I really want it to go in that direction. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think um, about this chapter. What do you guys expect to see in the upcoming match against France? And how do you think this game is going to affect the um, the rankings? Do you think Baro is going to get dethroned or because of his leadership that we saw in this game that uh, um, that he, he's going to stay, uh, um, stay atop the ranks? What do you think Rin is going to take him down? But also in regards to uh, um, to Kaiser, do you think Kaiser is going to have a Rin moment, Rin a la U20 um, awakening? Or do you think he will have a Sheeta? I don't think he's going to have a Sheeta awakening. Nah. Ness? Dude, if Ness has a Sheeta awakening, that would be interesting. That would. I really could see Hiyori. Well, nah, nah, Hiyori kind of had it. But no, Hiyori didn't have that. I feel like if Yori gets, like, a Shidao-style awakening, I would be okay with that. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdic Sync. Love what we're doing and want to help keep that uh, keep this operation alive and kicking. So we can keep bringing you more Blue Lock content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.